All right, this is a real basic sauerkraut recipe. Uh, this is the second time I've made it. First time I made it, it turned out really well. I fermented it for almost a month and it was real tasty. So um, this is how I do it. There's many different variations of sauerkraut, but for the most part, the fundamentals are pretty much the same. First thing you want to do is shred your cabbage. All right, I've got all the cabbage pulled off the head, everything down to this uh, real hard central part, which I usually just throw out. And then I just shred everything by hand. I usually like to start out with uh, two heads of cabbage. According to what I got written down here, that should fit a half gallon jar halfway. All right, I ended up with about three pounds of cabbage. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick all this cabbage in a giant pot and then mix it in with the salt. You want to use one to one and a half teaspoons of salt per pound. So I'm going to do that real quick here. All right, so I'm going to add my salt. I use the uh, coarse kosher shell salt. I'm going to go uh, three teaspoons, three pounds. All right, there's my salt. I'm just gonna go ahead and gently knead it in the cabbage. Or I'm gonna toss the cabbage with the salt and then I'm gonna knead the cabbage next. And by the way, I cut this cabbage up with a knife. I found it was easier to cut it up that way. So I'm just gonna toss this salt around real quick. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. Spread it around real good. Then you wanna let it sit for about 15 minutes. All right, this has been sitting for about 15 minutes. Now you wanna knead the cabbage to get all the water out of it for about five minutes. So just wanna take it and squeeze it, knead it, do that for about 15 minutes, squeeze it all together and work it real good. Make sure there's enough, there's a, should be a quite a amount of water sitting at the bottom of it when you're done. Alright, I just got done squeezing this cabbage basically as hard as I could for about five minutes, getting all the water out of it. As you can see, there's like a really good amount of water sitting at the bottom of the uh, pot here. So next step is uh, fill and pack the jar with cabbage. And if there's not enough water uh, to cover the cabbage, then you're going to want to make a 2% uh, salt water solution. That's one teaspoon of salt per cup of water to at least cover the top of the cabbage. When you're filling up your jar, make sure you pack it down really nice. This is what I like to use to pack it down. Make sure it's uh, basically as tight as you can get it. All right, this is what I ended up with here. It's about a half to three quarters away full. And uh, I do use these uh, special fermentation lids that I got online, which uh, releases gases. This thing works really well. I didn't have to open up the uh, jar or check it or anything. So if you want to use these, these work great. You can use a regular lid if you want, but I think every once in a while you have to check it to release the gases out. But uh, these lids are like really foolproof way to do it. So. But what you want is like, you see how that you got that liquid at the top there? You want liquid covering it. Covering everything at the top. There's a pretty good amount of liquid up there. But I think I'm going to go ahead and just top it off a little bit more just to be safe. And then I'm going to throw this fermentation weight on top to keep it sunk down. And then I might throw a uh, cabbage leaf on top too, which people recommend to keep it from spoiling on top. And then we'll be done. Alright, so I'm going to top it off here with a little bit of this uh, salt water solution. Just to get a little more liquid on top. That should be good. And then I'm going to throw this fermentation weight, which I also got. You can also throw like a jar in there if you want, just something to weigh it down. This 
is the exact way I made it last time. Like I said, I'm no professional, but this is the second time I've done it. I'm doing it exactly how I did it last time and it turned out perfect. So there's that. And then you can even throw like a cabbage leaf on top if you want. Some places recommend doing that. I think I'm gonna skip that this time because I didn't do it last time and it just came out perfect. So as long as you got water covering it, you'll be fine. Throw on your lid. Like I said, you don't have to use these special fermentation lids, but I just decided to um, do it right the first time and not have to worry about anything because there's a lot of really good reviews on these fermentation lids. You can set the date on it so you know when you uh, started the fermentation. And uh, yeah, that's it. You just set it on there, stick it in your cupboard, wait two to four weeks, whatever works for you. You can open it up, taste it, see how you like it. And uh, if you want to make it a little more sour, keep fermenting it. I liked it pretty sour, so I went uh, about four weeks. So there you are. That's how you make sauerkraut.